my friends on the internet, I have just watched Spider-Man Far From Home, and I'm going to give you my thoughts right now. I was going to do a live stream, but my streaming uh, PC is dead. Quick fix, it just needs to be charged, so <laughs> false alarm, we'll be okay. But anyway, so I watched it today. I wasn't super excited about it. I didn't really, I wasn't like hyped or anything about it. I was just like, oh, look, yeah, it's kind of coming out. I took the kids. And uh, I'll give you my overall feeling about it. I thought it was, it was decent. It was good. It wasn't great. But that's kind of my feeling on most things. <laughs> that's just what, that's what you're going to get when you come to this channel, okay? You're going to get, ah, that was okay. <laughs> No. Passionate here. I'm passionate about some things, but not this. This was this was decent. I give it a B plus. I won't go into spoilers. Maybe I'll do a spoiler part. I'll I'll break it up so you can you can go to that part. Right now it's it's spoiler free. So, it's basically set in Europe. So, they go to like Italy and Germany and England. And they kind of globe trot over there a little bit because he's like on a field trip. Is that the only thing that these Spider-Man Marvel movies are gonna do? Are like field trips? I don't know. <laughs> that seems to be the trend. Something uh, something to do with a field trip and shit goes wrong. I was under the understanding that it was the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but who? I guess I guess not. I guess we're never gonna get that. I don't know. I was partial to the neighborhood Spider-Man. I thought he kind of connects with its Spider-Man New York kind of the same. But no, we're just going to get him swinging around other places uh, for for the foreseeable future. Uh, so, he shows up. There's some kind of weird elemental bad guys, like monster things coming. And uh, this mysterious... This mysterious guy comes and saves the day, and then he finds out later that he's working with Nick Fury, and uh, things ensue, things happen. There you go. <laughs> I will say that the second half of the movie is extremely far better than the first half of the movie. The whole first half of the movie, I was like, this is a little hokey. It's a little uh, poorly acted from kind of everybody. Everybody kind of seemed like they were like kind of phoning it in the half, the first part of the movie. And I was watching, and I'm a fan of Jake Gyllenhaal, and I was like, why does he seem so off? Why does he seem like he's not, he didn't seem like he was putting his all into the acting, but it, it makes sense, which I, I figured. I was like, okay, maybe it'll make sense for spoiler things later that I won't say now, but it, it makes sense. Uh, other things is like Nick Fury, the whole movie felt a little off. Uh, that also kind of makes sense later, but I don't agree with, I don't, I, I wouldn't have done it that way if I was making the movie, but I'm not making the movie. So, so that, it was kind of, yeah, for the first half of the movie, then halfway through the movie, a certain thing happens. And then from there, the rest of the movie really kind of takes off. And it, it's kind of the whole first part of the movie. It was really just, I mean, which is stupid to say. Which was set up for the second half of the movie. <laughs> but, it, like, energy-wise, it wasn't quite as good as the second half. So, if you don't want to go into spoilers, it's, it's, I guess stop it here. But I'll give you... It was a B plus. I thought it was decent. I liked all the Sam Raimi movies better. I... I like... I, I can't tell if I like this more than Homecoming. Because Homecoming, again, was like... I liked it. It was good. But it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't great. Uh, it wasn't amazing. It wasn't amazing. It was okay. I liked Vulture. Vulture was really cool in it. And again, the villains seem to be very well done in the Spider-Man movies. Um, I know Marvel has like a tendency to underdevelop their villains. But the Spider-Man movies seem to develop their villains pretty well. And uh, uh the villain in this movie is, is pretty well done. I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so I'll give it a, 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 a solid B. Possibly a B plus. So there's that. So spoiler. 
I'm gonna talk spoilers, so fucking click off and don't. I don't want to. I don't. Don't at me. I don't want to see it. So spoilers. Uh, obviously, Mysterio's a bad guy. We. I think we all knew that. If you knew anything about Mysterio or Spider Man or anything, you knew that was gonna happen the second you saw him in the trailer. You were like, that. It's a bad guy. But the way that they do it, they changed it a little bit, and I actually kind of liked it. The original Quentin Beck Mysterio was uh, a special effects artist. He was somebody that worked in like movie business and stuff like that, and he was like a disgruntled effects guy. And then he he used his talents to make big illusions and things and make him look really scary, but he really wasn't. The what what they did with this one was they made him an ex employee of Tony Stark, and it seems to be a trend in the Spider Man movies is uh, Tony Stark fucking over Spider Man's villains. Uh, so he actually he. Quentin Beck is the one that invented the the uh, holographic technology that we saw Tony Stark use in, I can't remember which movie, maybe Civil War? They all kind of run together, I don't know. The one where he's back in time, he's playing the piano, and he's talking to his, it was Civil War, where he's talking to his mother and father, and then he stops it, and then Tony Stark, present day, walks in. Uh, they, they repaint it to say that Quentin Beck was the one that invented it, and he invented it to use it in other aspects, but then Tony Stark kind of just made fun of it and used it for crappy reasons or whatever. So he was disgruntled, and he's like running this whole team of uh, disgruntled employees of Tony Stark, like the guy that Obadiah Stane yelled at in the first Iron Man movie. I was like, damn, they pulled him all the way from the original Iron Man? Like, good job. And then like several other people that like made up the backstory of the other universes and all that stuff, which kind of bummed me out. I'm like, okay, I guess there's not universes. I mean... I kind of like the universes. I know some people don't like the multiverse stuff, but I kind of liked it, especially with Spider-Man, because there seems to be like a lot of different Spider-Man multiverse things going on, and it's not going to happen in this one. But but anyways, there's a whole group of these people that are like running this this like team, and he's the leader of it, and he ends up being like a psychopath dude that just wants to be an Avenger. He thinks he should. He thinks he's the one that should run. He should be the one that everybody looks up to. He should be the one that saves the day. So then he uses Tony Stark's tech, his like drones and stuff, to make these illusions. He, <laughs> Peter Parker hands over this uh, defense system that Tony gives him, that gives Peter. He hands it over to Quentin Beck, because Quentin Beck plays like a nice guy. And then Peter, like an idiot, hands it over to him. And then... Quentin Beck uses all of that to make an even bigger illusion and makes it big. There was a there was one scene I thought they did really freaking well. And I I I wish they went further, but I liked where they went with it was uh this this scene Spider-Man Peter Parker is going to Berlin to talk to um Nick Fury cuz he needs to tell him that Quentin Beck is a bad guy. He do goes there, he gets picked up by Nick Fury, they drive to this like facility that's all nice and it looks like it's a shield headquarters and then all of a sudden the drones show up and they kill Nick Fury and they start attacking and then all of a sudden this illusion thing happens and then he's in like a high school and then all of a sudden he jumps out of the high school and then there's a giant fist of like Mysterio and then he, there's all this like illusion stuff and it was kind of cool and I was really hoping that they would go there because that was one of my favorite things about Mysterio was his like illusions and like Spider-Man 2 on PS2 Mysterio level that's the dopest shit ever that was my like my favorite level of one of my favorite levels of all time was the Mysterio levels in, in Spider-Man 2 so I was really happy they kind of went there uh, but I wish they kind of pushed it further made it more more a little bit more but I, I liked what they did uh, they finished it that, towards the end I'm going to get to the end part they have this big fight on the uh, the Tower Bridge in London, and Spider-Man go off at each other. This is where Peter Parker gets his uh, his Peter Tingle back, and he and he's able to tell where the drones are, and he's able to fight fight off the illusion and whatnot and defeat Beck. What happens is that Beck gets shot by one of the drones, and he dies. So then, and we even, Peter confirms it because he asks the, the defense system, Edith, you know, is this real? 
is it you know is it real and she says uh you know all illusions are are shut off or whatever and quentin beck is actually dead i guess he's dead i really hope he's not dead because it would be freaking great if he came back later alive or i mean or even they could they could say that they could do like an illusion that quentin beck is alive again and it's not actually him alive but jake gyllenhaal could still play him it could be like a computer simulation thing or something like that I'm just hoping they do Sinister Six eventually at some point. It'd be kind of cool. I know that they tried to set it up with Amazing Spider-Man, but we don't speak of that movie series at all. So just do it right. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. So I mean, I I thought the I thought the second half was really good. Like the whole second half half after Quentin Beck, you you find out that he's bad. Everything after that is pretty good. It's pretty solid. It's like. Mysterio's bad. We go, oh, okay, shit. What happens? Peter finds out that he's bad. We go from that to Nick Fury, then Nick Fury, then that, and then the big illusion thing, and then the whole fight at the end. That's all fun. Uh, the first part was just dragging for me. There was a, a few funny parts dripped in there, sprinkled across, and I thought I thought they were okay, but for the most part, the first part was kind of boring. There are two end screen, like end credits scenes. There's one where you see Peter back in New York, swinging through New York, and I was like, oh, finally, finally again. Swinging through New York with uh, MJ, which is not MJ, but it is MJ, whatever. And they're having like a little date or something. Like he's gonna swing away from MJ and he lands on a, on a light pole, and in Times Square there's a big screen, <laughs> and it's the news, and they say that, oh, we've we've gotten this distressing video footage from a controversial news source uh, from the the big battle that took place in London, and here it is, uh, and it's the Daily Bugle, but it's made to look like freaking Alex Jones Infowars. I know it was great. I know that they're po like poking fun at Alex, but I thought it was funny. It's just funny that he Alex Jones is big enough. Big enough of a pop culture presence to be made a, a caricature of, and, and but it's J. Jonah Jameson that is plays that is like the Alex Jones type, and they bring J.K. Simmons back. That, that was great. I thought that was uh, that was awesome. And please, if they bring him, keep keep him going, keep him going for the next one, bring him back again because that would be awesome. And if, you know, he's he's a great. Uh, Jameson. It'd be kind of cool to see if he does like a different take on him. Obviously, they're going to do like a J Alex Jones type version of him. But I wonder if... Uh, I don't think it's going to be as campy as the other one. So it'll be interesting to see the same actor take the same character in a different direction and see, what he, see how he does that. That'll be interesting. But the interesting thing is, is that this video that, he, that they play is of Quentin Beck on his phone or something saying that Spider-Man is doing this. Spider-Man's going to, you know, trying to kill everybody. I don't know why he's trying to do it. And then he does like a footage and you see like Spider-Man's lower half and Spider-Man says, "Yeah, attack them all or whatever." And it says like, you know, kill the people or whatever. So everybody thinks that Spider-Man is now the villain. So the next movie is going to be Spider-Man on the run or something. So my pitch and every time I fucking do this, I do this with my friends now I'm going to do this with you, a QBG army. Sub to me, not Gerald. My pitch is next movie, we get a Hunt the Spider movie with Craven the Hunter. If they don't do Craven the Hunter in the next movie, I'm going to be pissed because that's the perfect opportunity to do Craven the Hunter. Make it like, I don't know if you ever played Batman Origins, uh, the, the Arkham Origins game, where... It, basically that make it spider-man and everybody's coming after him they're hunting him down like they hire like maybe maybe um the government or some kind of organization hires uh people to hunt down spider-man and one of the people is craven the hunter dude played by jermaine clement from flight of the concords and i know what you're saying He's a funny dude. I don't know if he can do this. I think he could totally do this. I saw concept art that somebody made to make him look like Craven the Hunter. 
And he's played villains before, and I think he's a great actor. So, uh, pff, Craven the Hunter. Who would you... How about that? In the comments below, tell me who you would put in the next movie. And if you like my idea for Craven the Hunter, who would you cast as Craven the Hunter? I want to hear other ideas because Jermaine Clement is like in my brain. So I want to see what you guys think of, and maybe I'll be like, oh, this, that's a better idea or whatever. So I want to see that. So, um, and then there's another end credit scene at the very end where it reveals that Nick Fury was not Nick Fury the whole time. He was a scroll from Captain Marvel. And then they cut to Nick Fury on a spaceship with other scrolls or something. I didn't watch Captain Marvel. I don't know what the fuck any of that is. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really tell me anything. I don't care. So anyways, the more the, the more interesting one was that first end credit scene. That was a cool one. That's the one that kind of set up with the next uh, Spider-Man. Maybe it's cool. I'm At this point, I'm kind of just vaguely interested in these things. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like it, but I, I did at some point really enjoy speculation and comics and all this stuff. And I'm just trying to grasp that again. But at this point, every time I go into a movie, I'm just like, okay, whatever. I go in not expecting anything and I don't really get anything out. That's all that great. But this was okay. It was all right. So that's, I give it a B plus, uh, I guess. I'll give the first half a C minus, second half a B plus, and the whole thing a B. How about that? So tell me what you think. Tell me what your uh, speculation is for the next one and who you think the villain should be and who you think should play Craven the Hunter. Jermaine Clement's mine. But you can have yours. Let me know. Also, subscribe to me. Don't subscribe to Gerald Morgan because I'm currently in a freaking uh, race right now. I'm ahead at the moment. At the moment. But that can change in an instant, you know? Things are, j things are moving, okay? Things are moving all the time. So, I need you to join the QBG army and subscribe. And give me to 1,000. And then from the thousand, ten thousand. We're on from there. All right, maybe a live stream tomorrow. I don't know. Since I did this video, I don't really have anything to talk about tomorrow. But maybe then, I'll, maybe I'll talk about something. I'll see you next time. QBG out.